Hello YouTubers, this is a new session where I get to kind of answer a question that a lot of people have been reaching out to me about, hey Hassan, you introduced us to this peer LLM kind of ideas and we're really eager to host and play around with the network and be able to kind of be part of this um, uh, really revolution of AI decentralization and new AI economy. Uh, I really appreciate the people that reached out, the people that kind of gave me their ideas, you know, shared their concerns, people that asked questions. You know, this whole week has been just such a such a great sign that this is something that's going and headed in the right direction. But I'm also kind of bearing the responsibility of making sure that if I give you something that is something solid, uh, secure, really reliable and all that kind of stuff. And while it's still a, a really an early alpha release, I want you to be part of it. I want to build this with the community. I want people to be able to kind of communicate with me and work with me on building this to make it something really useful. So for people who are not really familiar about what I'm talking about, um, a while ago, I had a dream. I want AI to work for us as human beings instead of taking our jobs. And I decided that I want to decentralize the compute and the data sharing and the LLM development across everybody around the world. So you have a machine or a PC at home and you run a peer LLM host on it. You're providing data, you know, of your choice. You're providing compute power or you're providing LLMs or really anything else. It's a market and you're getting paid for it. You're, you know, the compute is running and you're getting paid for it. So, um, you know, we, we talked a little bit about, you know, how, let me kind of give you like the high level view because I did some really nice updates to the website and, and all that. And I want to really, I'm really proud of the work that, um, uh, that went into this. And I want to kind of show you what things look like right now. So this is our site. This is our website. I upgraded the website a little bit. I give it just kind of nice look and feel. You'll be able to kind of join us on Discord up here. Uh, you have the PLM chat, but also you get to see our networks. If you click here, you get to see the networks, you know, the hosts that are running at a point in time. Um, you know, we talked a little bit before about, you know, how to get a host. And I'm going to get to that part in a second. You know, we're going to start adding in some hosts and also how to become a host, right? There's a forum that you have to fill. We have to review it. We have to make sure, you know, you're the right person. You know, we really, really want to start with the circle of people that are passionate. They're going to explain to us what they're doing. And then we're going to expand it a little bit more and allow people to download uh, the software. So uh, the site as well, you know, just have a bunch of videos, have details and all that kind of stuff, you know, go through it and whatnot. But the one thing that I'm super proud of is that we kind of upgraded, you know, the chat. The chat now will tell you whether something is available or not. We're still on Mistral 7B, but we can upgrade that and kind of use uh, different systems. Now, let's get to the serious stuff, right? So how to host, how to actually host a, a peer LLM uh, compute kind of host. Um, for starters, if you if you go to our website and you go to become a host, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, right? You're going to go through a bunch of questions. I'm going to ask you who you are, you know, what's your email so I can send you that specific ID, that machine ID that will help you register. You have the country and the region just so we can help with the regional host distribution. Why do you want to join? And then a whole bunch of questions about what kind of CPU power and all that kind of stuff. Really fill in this form. I'm going to put in the link in there so you can kind of follow through. But once you have the link and we send you the, the software and the ID, what does it really look like? What does peer LLM as a software look like? So uh, what you're really going to get is an installation you know, file like this. So let me show you here. Really read through the license agreement. We want to make sure everything is clear to everyone. You're going to through the system and then I'm going to install it. And once it's installed, here we go. It's going to say, okay, make sure you have the GPU power you need and all that kind of stuff. I apologize. It's a little bit smaller for people on their phones. And then it starts the application. Now, let's focus on this part a little bit because this is where it really gets gets interesting. Um, when you start the host, you're going to get a software. And that software basically helps you manage, you know, the, the large language models and all that kind of stuff. I can enter really any host name in here. I'm just going to say demo. Uh, PLM, just so you know it, it's me. Uh, and you can you can put spaces in there, you can put dashes, you can put whatever you want to put. 
But the tricky part here is the machine ID, and that machine ID is something that I will provide you, and you're not supposed to share it. That machine ID is something that you want to insert in here, because if you put any machine ID, like if I put any ID like that, and go and say, okay, okay, let's let's go ahead and approve this, and you click agree, you're gonna get, you're gonna get the error message, this host ID is not approved, please make sure that it's approved. We do this so we can control the network, make sure things are secure, before we let people just kind of autonomously go out there and do that. So I'm going to put in there a pre-approved ID. I'm going to put a pre-approved ID so you can kind of see what that pre-approved ID look like. And then I'm going to click agree. Here we go. And boom. Now you have the hosting, right? Obviously, you see that there are no LLMs running at the moment. So obviously, the system is not going to be able to serve anything. I went ahead and kind of, you know, got a, a giga file. All I have to do is basically just navigate to whatever... The installation is and create and this is just a one-time thing you're going to create a folder called llms and inside that llms folder you're just going to drop that giga file let me drop that file in there real quick here we go and then i'm going to restart my my host so i'm just going to go ahead and boot up my host you don't have to insert you know hosts again or anything like that and now you have the host running right now what makes this interesting is that with that host, if I go on the internet and just go ahead and say, okay, give me a, give me the situation with the network, PeerLLM.com, like that, and I just click on the network, you'll be able to see that PeerLLM host running. That's that's our guy right there, right? But be careful because what I'm running in front of you right now is something called Windows Sandbox. If you don't know about that, please look it up. It's just something to show you, like here's a flat, brand new machine that you can actually run with and whatnot. Here's the thing, though. I will be asking you questions about your capacity. Can your machine actually handle the capacity? Like something for this GGov is not going to be able to serve that request. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Like if you go into PLM chat, agree hi there there's only one see it's basically saying like i can't i can't actually handle your request it's beyond my capacity hi there let's try again yeah it's just not able to right but here's the good news though like your machine needs to have at least like i'd say 16 32 gigs of ram to be able to run something like that Right now, if you go to the chat, of course, it's not going to work. But if I go back here and run another another machine that has that capacity, you'll be able to see the chat up and running super nice. So let's go back to the network here. This is A1. I'll go and say refresh. Hi there. How are you doing? There you go. And then the guy will start ch chatting with you and whatnot. Then we talk about the APIs and how you can build on top of PRLM because what I really want you to do is to build on top of it, right? Because it's exposing APIs. But this chat is just a nice way to kind of, you know, work with the system and whatnot. That's really essentially all that it is, right? You have a network, you have a host, uh, you need to do some registration. Please fill in the form. I will review the form. I'll, I'll approve your request super quick and you'll be able to download uh, the system super fast. Now, remember that this is not this is not an app. This is an economy, right, where people get to, you know, basically exchange and sell to each other. Uh, large language models, uh, data sets, um, compute power, which I think the vast majority of people will be really working with the compute power because that's what everyone has at home, right? But if you want to turn that local machine of yours into like a, a shop, basically, where you're not just providing compute, you're providing um, um, LLMs, you're providing data sets, you're providing all kinds of stuff, absolutely 100%, why not? Uh, but also from the other side, I want you to build apps on top of peer LLM, right? So the, there's the, the host area. This is where people are providing compute and LLMs and whatnot. That's all great. But we need apps just like that chat app that I was just demoing for you. You need to build apps on top of that. I'm going to give you a lot of like open source uh, free projects that, you know, built on top of peer LLM where you can run it directly locally to your GGuff model. So you can run it at home, whatever, however you want. Or if you want to run your local model on the go, you'll be able 
able to specify the host that you registered with and you don't want anyone to access that host except for you and you'll be able to take your locally trained large language model on the go you can even run it in your watch without having to worry about compute and memory capacity and whatnot um, I hope you find this useful please go ahead uh, click on the link in the description about signing up if you're interested to kind of download and install the hosting app and be able to try it yourself uh, i'll make sure to be on discord of course to answer all your questions or concerns and i hope you find this useful thank you so much uh, i'm looking forward to this amazing endeavor and journey to do with you and i'll talk to you soon take care